All right, here we are, Bermuda. It is beautiful here. Look at this. So we hope you love this video. 20 must-see spots here in Bermuda. Are you ready, Liche? I am ready. Let's go and check my boat. Let's go, let's check it out. We got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, 20 things to see in Bermuda. And boy, oh boy, do we got a great video for you today. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out our Facebook, Instagram, and how to have fun outdoors.com. That's right. Well, we were in Boston and we jumped on this gorgeous ship, the Norwegian Pearl, off to Bermuda, and we had a blast in Bermuda. We're going to show you 20 great places to check out. You're going to love it. We show you a little bit of everything. That's right. So sit back, enjoy, grab your popcorn. You're going to love this video. And also, don't forget about our new channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right. And check out We Survived the Bermuda Triangle. Boy, oh boy, was that crazy. Whoa, all the way up here. Yeah, That's way up Whoa, look at that TV. You're definitely going to want to check that video out on our new channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. Subscribe to that channel. It would mean a lot to us. Only cruise videos. That's right. So we're on the Norwegian Pearl heading off to Bermuda. Everybody was dancing, having a great time. Aliche was loving it. And uh, we went out to dinner. We went to the show. And from there, we said, let's do a little jacuzzi and a little bit of YMCA. That's right. What a beautiful evening it was. And then we landed, that's right, in Bermuda. What a fantastic island. Let's get started. Wow, this is absolutely the best beach ever. Welcome, everyone, to Bermuda. Bermuda is an amazing island, tons of beaches, lots of hidden spots, and our goal today is to show you some of those. We got an awesome taxi driver to take us to some of these places, and as you can see as we followed south down, we got to West Whale Bay Park. That's right, the site of the hidden beach, and not too far away, the site of the hidden fort. We'll show you in a minute, and let's go check it out. This is the most intimate beach right here. Wow, how about that, Alice? Yeah, one of them. <laughs> There'll be people arguing yeah, okay. it, huh? I'm gonna go down there by itself. Yeah. <laughs> this. Do you see what I'm saying? That's yeah. beautiful. Wow. Wow. Intimate scene. Isn't that beautiful? Look, where'd you get? Mm. This is a phenomenal beach. I'm gonna go and jump in the water. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do here. Absolutely beautiful out here. Yeah, it's a perfect one. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Tommy T. Hey. Welcome to Whale Beach. How about this, Bermuda? Woo 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 and then she goes, just like that. So I was getting ready to go jump into the ocean and the friendly taxi driver nudged me and tried to give me some friendly advice. He said if I did, it would probably hurt the rating. So I decided to stay out and just do some filming. But as you can see here, why go to a beach when you've got thousands of people when you can just go down the road a couple more miles and you can find a secluded beach like this? I say, I, you think I should go in? No, I think the ratings will severely go down. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Absolutely. The ratings will go down. <laughs> why, why ruin a good moment? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Overall, Aliche just absolutely loved this beach. What a great place to go. Uh, actually, we ended up having one person, an elderly lady, who I guess swims here quite often, come down to the beach. But overall, it was amazing. So are you ready for secret spot number two? That's right, not too far away actually, but we've got the almighty taxi guide 
and he was able to get us up to this spot through some old trails to an abandoned fort that used to be a park. Check this out. Wow. Pretty awesome, huh, Alicia? Well, this was an abandoned fort that used to be actually part of the park and part of the attractions for locals. But it was too much to upkeep and there's so many forts around the island, this one was left alone and nobody is there to take care of it. It's the Whale Bay Battery and you gotta check it out, it's extra cool. Wow. The secret castle. Let's go. Awesome. Just like secret spot number one, there were no people. And secret spot number two, well, there was a lizard, but no people. What a great place to check out. And the views were stunning of the ocean, but also the trophy golf course that is on the backside of this famous course that we will show you a little bit later. But in any case, the bottom line is, this is a must-see. It's a great place to take photos and, uh, you know, it, it, it really does have a great backdrop. And it's so secluded and, quite honestly, it's a neat feeling. And it's a pretty cool battery fort, if you will. Lots to see there. And you can see all where the guns used to be set up and all the uh, ammunition. And overall, we were pretty impressed. And again, a different type of sight. Wow. Look at this. This is so cool. I wonder what's in here. Let's no! check it. Hey! Overall, super awesome. We're going to head out of here and get you off to spot number three, but we had to go and take a hidden trail just to get back to the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, Whoa, there we go. Yeah, we are careful. You need to be careful. All right, here we are at the Clock Tower Mall. So if you want your shopping, it's right in here. And look how close it is to the boats. As you can see, there was plenty of shopping in this mall and more stores than we anticipated. This is a great place to go. It's really close to the ship. So this is one of the things to see in Bermuda. Good shopping here. <laughs> Look at the shopping. Look at all the bags. Holy cow. So we headed off from the mall, out back to the port, and jumped in a taxi to drive around to some great spots on the island. And boy, oh boy, did we find one here with the Reefs Resort and Club. That's things to see number four. Why? Because a lot of tourists don't stop into these different resorts. And if you've got some money, you can have lunch there, dinner there, hang out there, have some drinks, overlook some of these beautiful beaches. And boy, oh boy, is this place phenomenal. Horseshoe Bay. You, Horseshoe you, you, Bay. Horseshoe they Bay. Come up the boat. We're and, Horseshoe Bay. All right. Horseshoe Bay. Yes. Look at how beautiful it is. No question about it, Horseshoe Bay is awesome, and no wonder it's so popular. But how about six through 10? That's right, what we found out from the local taxi driver is you gotta check out Angel Bay. You got Jobson's Bay, Warwick Long Bay, and believe it or not, right down to the south is his favorite, the Sinky Bay Beach, and don't forget, you got Horseshoe Bay Cove. 
You ready? Yay! How was it? Pretty cool? Yeah, it was great. All right, let's go check it out. Elis Harbor. This is a must stop for everybody uh, coming to Bermuda. Welcome to Paradise. Wow, take a look at that view. Absolutely. Views are absolutely amazing, but wait till you see this next things to see at Bermuda number 12 and 13, Scour Hill Fort and the Weatherstone. That's right, you're gonna love this. Aliche shows you how they have done weather on the Bermuda Island for many, many years. And this fort, super cool. Hidden deep tunnels that go underneath that you gotta check out. Super cool. Wow, a true early Bermuda weather stone. Go ahead and read it, Liche. Oh, yeah, it's so magic. This stone is the perfect weather indicator. A dry stone means it is not raining. Wow. A wet stone means it is raining. A shadow under the stone means the sun is shining. If the stone is winging, it means there is a strong wind blowing. If the stone jumps up and down, it means there is an earthquake. If ever it is white on top, believe it or not, it is snowing! All right! Help me out here. <laughs> wow. Look at how far down this goes. This is crazy. I need more. Wow. This is definitely a must see. Well, we are down here. Every kid would go crazy for this. And there is more. Wow. <laughs> there is more. What? Keep going. This is wild. What? He I'm took our money. The taxi guy. The taxi guy Man, took I'm our a money. Girl. I'm not bad. Don't punish me. Look at this. This is a classic taxi. Oh, Tommy. These taxis take your money and then they trap you they in. Away. <laughs> <I'm not busy. laughs> hey, we got out of there. We want our money back. Come we, on. We gave him a pardon. We uh, gave him a pardon. Hey. <laughs> I'm a good girl. Yeah, Please. you better straighten out and then I'll let you out. What? Yeah, I'm on. I am the best wife in the world. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> Let's go check out one of the most amazing lighthouses. Yep, that's right. The highest point in all of Bermuda. You're going to love this. Check it out. All right, here we are in Bermuda. Beautiful map here. Dockyard. That's where that Norwegian pearl is at. We just came down around here through the Somerset Village. You saw that awesome fort. We gave you a bunch of views of the different beaches, all the way down to that West Whale Bay. That was a great place to visit. You definitely gotta check that out for sure. Now we've worked all the way down to the lighthouse, and here we are. Let's go check out the lighthouse here in Bermuda. Look at this, super this duper cool. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Let's go. 
Let's go. If you love lighthouses, definitely check out our Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, Bermuda's Tallest Point uh, video over on How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, brand new channel, How to Have Fun Cruising, dedicated to all cruising videos. In this video, you'll get some extensive interviewing with the manager of the lighthouse, absolutely amazing access up to the top of the lighthouse where people are not allowed to go and we get to uh, talk to some of the guys doing some repairs up there and actually look inside the lens. It is a fantastic video. Definitely check it out on how to have fun cruising. All right, let's get back to this channel and take a look at this view. Well, as you can see, this is definitely one of the things you want to see in Bermuda, especially if you have a little time there. Definitely make time for the lighthouse. The view is remarkable. We just had a fantastic time there and so much to see. You can see in every single direction. You can see the entire island. It really is special and there was really hardly any people there. Once again, this was a cool spot to go to and we really enjoyed it a lot. There's the door to get back in. Leche, you went around the other side? Yeah. <laughs> no fear, it's scary. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so we headed back down from the top of the lighthouse and we were off to our next destination. So cool, even going down, it's a different feel than going up. So lots of steps, so definitely be in shape. But overall, this was erected back in 1846 and it is the second cast iron lighthouse ever built. It is pretty unique overall, and as you can see, it is pretty awesome. So let's get started with our next things to see in Bermuda. Well, this is one beautiful island for sure, and our taxi driver definitely wanted to show us this next stop, Queen's View. That's right, number 15. This is fantastic, definitely a must see, and the views from here are remarkable. I'd say the lighthouse and this are probably some of the best views on the island. Queen Elizabeth II paused for a while here to admire uh, the Bermuda Island. It is fantastic, no question about it. So beautiful. So let's move on to our must next thing to see. But these are royal palm trees. These palm trees here, that's the favorite palm that Bermudians like. Not the coconut palm, they like these palms, royal palms. So one of my favorite destinations in Bermuda was the Crystal Caves. And uh, this is definitely something that you want to check out if you get a chance while you're in Bermuda. They're super unique. I've been to caves all over the country. Definitely check out our Mammoth Cave video and some of our other cave videos. They are outstanding. And uh, what I can say is this one uh, is equally as awesome in its own way. 
Um, we have a full-blown video on this, believe it or not, Crystal Cave Tour on how to have fun cruising, our dedicated cruising YouTube channel that you want to check out. Please subscribe to that. Let's get that thing taken off. We just put it together, but it's going to be all cruise videos, island videos, shore excursion, etc. But back to Crystal Caves, so many cool things. And in the video we have on the other channel, we'll go into detail on this place and show you everything from the bathroom, souvenir shops, and let you hear from the tour guide but in any case let's take a look at these caves right now you're going to be impressed the water is crystal clear and it's pretty unique compared to any other cave system i've ever seen The farther down you go, the more amazing it gets. And then once you get down towards the bottom, the water just gets super clear. And that's where the term Crystal Caves comes from. This cave dates way back and it was discovered by two boys. And quite honestly, it is remarkable. And the farther you walk down through it, the more impressive it gets. You'll see that in the video ahead. The cave was actually found in 1907 by two teenage boys between the age of 13 and 14 years old. And one day they were playing cricket and one of the boys set the ball into the trees. When the boys went to go look for the ball, they found a hole. So the boys did what just about any teenage boys would do. Wow, 3.5 million years old. Water temperature is 69 to 72 Fahrenheit. Watch your head before you stand up, look up. Wow, look at this. Super cool, huh? Look how clear that water is. Actually, 35 feet down here. 35, 35 feet? Yeah. That water is super clear, huh? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen water that clear. 35 feet. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people think you call it crystal gaze because of these stalactites. Really just the crystal clear water. You can see the caves are absolutely amazing. The most incredible part is how clear the water is. And again, cameras can't do it. Even though we have cave vision in 4K with the light sensitivity, there is still nothing like being in a cave. It is remarkable. And believe it or not, this water got down to certain areas down to 55 feet deep. That's right. And you could see down to the bottom like no problem whatsoever. And it was really a great place to go visit. So if you want to see more of these caves um, and also some of the presentations that were given, just check out this video over on our other channel, How to Have Fun Cruising, like I mentioned before. It's a great video. Okay, we're ready for 18 and 19. That's right, the Bermuda Aquarium and the Bermuda Zoo. These are uh, really cool and you want to get going early to get to the other side of the island. Welcome to the Bermuda Aquarium. All right, let's go check it out. All right, guys. Bring it. All right, here we are at the Bermuda Aquarium. And boy, oh boy, this thing is a lot bigger than what we imagined. Super cool. Let's go take a look at this great amusement park. Wow, check out this one. Awesome. We were very impressed with the Bermuda Aquarium, Museum, and Zoo. It was much bigger than we expected, 
and actually much nicer than what we expected. If you want to see the full uh, attraction, definitely check out our other channel dedicated to cruising. As we mentioned, how to have fun cruising. We've got a Bermuda Aquarium Museum and Zoo video that goes into detail with this. But today we're just trying to highlight the 20 things to see in Bermuda. So we're just going to give you the highlights of this uh, attraction. But definitely check out that video. There's so much to see here and do. Take a look at the size of the map and all the different attractions they have. Um, and quite honestly, I think this thing is gonna just get bigger and bigger. They even had a Madagascar section uh, with the lemurs and the fosses, and they had a walk-in bird sanctuary. The zoo uh, part of it was pretty cool, but the aquarium was very impressive and dates way back. They put a lot of money and effort into this uh, overall. You still have to wear mask right now, but I'm sure that's going to get relieved pretty soon. But overall, uh, let's take a look at some of these awesome fish and the zoo itself. Sharks down here. Yeah, there's sharks. I think they're not going to go down. They're right Oh, the shark's moving. Oh, I did not go down. Isn't that crazy that those fish are like super healthy? Look at these ones. Alice, who do you got here? Well, I'm here with Alexander, but he's uh, in charge of the tourism here in Bermuda. Yeah, I work for the Bermuda Tourism Authority. And tell us a little bit about it. Well, how's things going? The COVID's almost over now, right? So things are coming back? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we have definitely a lot more tourists coming to the island now. Uh, seeing that things have opened back up. Um, and we hope to get more, like you guys, coming along. You guys having uh, fun with our experiences here on the island. And I hope you have a great time. All right. Sure. What's your favorite attractions? For all the people back home that mm. aren't familiar with Bermuda, what would be like your top three? What they should Mine see? Mine would be like the caves, some yeah. of the cave exploring, and some of the uh, nature reserves that we have. Because uh, Bermuda is a very green place, there's a lot of nature around us. Uh, we don't have any you know, dangerous animals around that can harm you, so it's a lot of exploring. Okay. Uh, for me, I love the ocean. Okay. Uh, so, we know the ocean too. Exactly. Too, so. Go check out our beaches, everything. How's, the, snor how's the snorkeling here? Snorkeling? Yeah. Oh, you need to go scuba diving. Scuba diving is yeah, great. Snorkeling is great around the coastline. Okay. Um, but we have a lot of dive sites. We okay. have like over, I think, like, I want to say like 300 shipwrecks around the island. Wow. A lot. You know, so there's a lot to see in the ocean. Okay. Well, thanks so much. Let's go check out the rest of Bermuda. What do you think, Alice? Well, I'm really this is a really nice little aquarium and zoo and so far it's been a really great discovery. Hey, and take a look at here. You've got the museum, zoo, you've got local trails, reptiles, Discovery Cove, but you've also got, that's right, a nice restaurant. Let's go check it out. Hey, buddy. Hello. All right, here we are in the zoo section of this aquarium and zoo museum. This is pretty cool. This is like a little zoo. They've got some great kids activities, uh, but overall we're gonna show you around. So let's go take a look. Do 
do it. Pay attention! Oh no, you lost a finger! Caliche, take a look. Does this guy look familiar? Huh? What are you trying to say? Wow, look at that guy. Oh, look up there, lemurs. This is where Aliche and I had our honeymoon. That's right, folks, in Madagascar. We fell in love with it, and uh, this is still a video that we're gonna do. It is just an amazing place to visit. You can see this place was awesome, way better than we expected, and we really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. But we're off to number 20. That's right, number 20, things to see, the Royal Navy Cemetery. So we got the Royal Navy Cemetery here. Now, what's the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard? A graveyard is a place of internment on church property. Okay. Whereas a cemetery is a place of internment just in the countryside. Wow. Away from the church property. Now, do you know how many dead people are in there? Approximately about a thousand, uh, a thousand better of um, um, naval personnel. Now, right see, there. I was always told all of them, all of them. What, with naval personnel? No, no, how many dead people are in there? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, on, on it's certain, all of them, right? On certain weekends, you see them partying, so yeah. that's why we have right now. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> All right, so you just came back. How many dead people are in this grave right here, the cemetery? I didn't count them. One, two, three. Come on, you should know the answer. It's all of them. All of them. All of them. Yay! Come on. Oh for, for two. Oh for two with this group. Oh for two. This is bad. Not everybody golfs, so we left this to the end as a bonus. That's right, Port Royal Golf Course. And it is a famous golf course and really a special golf course. If you're able to play at this place, you're going to love it. It was originally known as the Southampton Golf Club, founded back in 1965. The course was actually a creation of a golf course architect, Robert Trent Jones. That's right, it's a Jones course. And uh, it was finally completed and opened in 1970 with some renovations. And uh, they put another $14.5 million into it when it reopened in July of 2009. And what was special about that year? The PGA Grand Slam of Golf was held at this golf course, believe it or not. So this is owned by the Bermuda government and it's a pretty special golf course. And if you're in the area, definitely check it out. National champion, champion of Bermuda, senior golfer. All right, Very top difficult. senior golfer right to there. I do occasionally from time to time. Congratulations. What's your name, sir? Jim. Jim. <laughs> I like that. 
Are you like that? Champion. 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 We had a great time and uh, we really appreciated our taxi driver. He was amazing. But now we've got a double bonus. That's right, a double bonus for you. King's Wharf. That's right, back at the port where the ship was. Liche and I got some friends because we wanted to take them out and do some jet skiing. But overall, this is a cool place. So if you don't want to go way away from the boat, you don't want to explore the island, that's okay. We're going to show you a little bit of the Royal Navy Dockyard and uh, this uh, port area that you can just walk off super close to the cruise ship. And they've got all kinds of concession stands set up uh, lots of souvenirs you already saw the clock tower mall earlier uh, they have several different mall areas we'll show you wi-fi free wi-fi so you want to check that out and then here's another one the island outfitters that's right all kinds of stores over here it was pretty awesome and then if you're uh, looking for some chow bonefish one of the most popular restaurants in this port area everybody talked about that is the place to go so no question about it uh, this is cool and uh, it's a simple simple walk nothing crazy no matter what your age is or your physical condition literally you can just walk off the ship and stroll over here no problem then they have the dark yard uh, water sports they've got fun golf you can do a little bit of that of course we talked about and showed you the aquarium and zoo uh, on the island and take a look at this sport uh, this uh, sports complex here where you can hang out and hey we're gonna take you right in and show you some of the cool things you can do like parasailing they've got all the biking they've got glass bottom sightseeing boats they've got jet skis that you can rent let's listen to what they have all right the big question what is two hours of jet skiing out here cost What's your favorite shore excursion? Uh, my favorite one would be Rising Sun. It is a party event as well as the Smaller Views on there. That is awesome. Well, we're excited about Bermuda. This is an awesome island. Thank you. You ready, Aliche? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yes, let's sure. do it. All right. So as you can see, there's plenty to do in Bermuda. Definitely don't forget your suntan lotion. Take a look at the prices on those little bitty bottles. But they've got all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. And like I said earlier, look how close you are to the ship. You literally just walk across. And uh, even if you want to just check out the shipyard, they've got some really cool stuff. Tugboats and uh, different sailing, sailing vessels. Uh, but overall, we loved it. And uh, we really, really enjoyed hanging out uh, here. So we hope you love this video. It was super cool. And uh, here's the old faithful tugboat right there uh, hanging out at King's Wharf and uh, overall uh, as you can see this was one amazing place we really hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe please hit that like button it would mean so much to you this video took a lot of time to edit and get ready for you it's free of charge and we need all the love that we can get comment down below have you been to Mermuda what is your favorite spots to go to and did we miss anything or do you also like some of the ones that we picked so overall thank you so much well, we hope you enjoyed this video of Bermuda, 20 things to see in Bermuda. It's been a lot of fun and there's so much to do and see here. We could do 50 things to see in Bermuda, but we're out of time and we hope you love this video. Please hit the like button. It would mean so much to us. And thank you so much for watching. How to have fun outdoors.